Hey guys, welcome to the Angles Practice Problems Level Medium. All right, let's do it. Okay, so let's take a look at the practice problem here. Again, we have a nice diagram and it looks like we have an assortment of angles and line segments and all that. All right, so let's read the question. It says in the figure above, what is the value of X? And right, X is right here. So let's first of all identify what X is. You notice X relates to this entire angle. And it's, it's good to know that because it almost looks like if you didn't pay attention to the arrows, you would think it was just kind of limited to this whole area, but it's this entire segment, okay? So what are we gonna have to use to figure this out? Well, we know that this is something that kind of goes all the way around, right? When you go all the way around, how many angles do you have? You have, or how many degrees do you have? You have 360 degrees. So we're basically going to use that as our total and we're gonna subtract all the known angles. So that's how we're gonna basically find X. Okay, so let's first look right here. How many, what's this little symbol right here? That is a symbol for a right angle, which means this is 90 degrees, okay? Then we also have 55 degrees. So let's, we're gonna add all this up here. 90 plus 55. And then we've got 80, right? We've got 80 degrees. Now, do we need to factor in the 60 degrees? We actually don't. And this is kind of like a red herring because X includes this 60 degrees. So all we need to do is calculate this whole section and subtract it from 360 and we've got our value for X. So that's what we're doing here. So we're gonna, let's add all this stuff up. So we got 90 plus 55 plus 80. We'll just do straight up 1422. So that's 225. Okay, so now we got 225 and that's what we need to subtract from 360. All right, so we got 225, take five, 10. Of course, you could do this on your calculator. I don't like to use calculators. And we've got 135. It's our final answer. And that is D, 